Praise the Lord. My name is Paul Agaba and I serve with Orphaned Heart Ministries. Today I bring a message entitled, Guard Your Heart From Worry. To be worried means to be troubled or anxious about a certain situation. The enemy will always tempt us to worry, but God does not want us to worry. You see, there are many things in life that worry us. The mere fact that people around you are dying, you can get worried whether you're going to live or die. But child of God, you will live to see the goodness of God in the land of the living. We are worried about finances. We are worried about how our, business are, how our businesses are going to thrive. We are worried about our children. We are worried about our academics, whether you're going to study and complete. You can be worried about your ministry in this situation where churches are closed. You don't, you, 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 you're concerned about how your members are going to thrive without you. But our God is faithful. Our God cares. You can be worried about our economy when things are not working out the way you expect them. You can be worried about your marriage, you know. But child of God, God does not want us to worry. This is what the Bible says in Matthew chapter 6 verse 25. Jesus says, Therefore, I tell you, do not worry about your life, what you'll eat or drink, or about your body, what you'll wear. Is not life more important than food, and the body more important than clothes? All the things that I mentioned above, they're things of life. And these are things that God can take care of. Praise the Lord. The Bible says in Psalm chapter 30, 37, verse 25, that I was young, now I'm old. Yet I have never seen a righteous man forsaken, nor his children begging bread. Child of God, God will take care of you. The Bible says in Matthew chapter 6, verse 33, that seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all the things shall be added unto you. Praise Jesus. As you seek God, everything that you're worried about, God will take care of them. So how do we overcome worry? We overcome worry by one. One, by trusting God. Hallelujah. The Bible says in John chapter 14 verse 1 that do not, be, do not let your hearts to be troubled, but trust in me and trust in God. When you trust in God, it means you believe that he can take care of you. And I believe whatever situation you are in, God will take you out. Hallelujah. Number two, we overcome worry by prayer. The Bible says in Philippians chapter 4 or verse 6 that do not be anxious about anything, but in prayer and supplication, make your requests made known to God. And the peace of God that surpasses all understanding will guard your heart and mind in Christ Jesus, child of God. When you pray, God will release his peace. When you pray, God will release answers. When you pray, God will make a way for you. When you pray, God will intervene. So pray, do not worry. Trust God, do not worry. God cares about you. That's why the psalmist says that the Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want. Let us trust God in this season. Whatever you are going through, do one thing. Trust in him because he alone can make a way where there is no way. May God bless you. If you have been blessed by this video, please share it. May somebody be blessed by this video as you share it. May God bless you. Visit our website at www.offandheart.org. May God bless you. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.